bleeds to me Americana. The blood, sweat, and tears, and passion, respect for what they do. I, I love that. I, I know the men and women that build those buses. I, I've seen the materials that go into that bus. I know the care everyone takes building that bus. The Yellow School Bus makes a difference. It makes a difference for kids. It makes a difference for parents. It makes a difference for the average citizen. At least two or three times a year, I tell my coworkers the same thing. That the oldest person that rides this bus is the driver. Everybody else on that bus belongs to someone. Someone's kid. I love kids. Obviously, when it comes to school buses, you have to constantly think about the future. Because uh, the future is actually riding on the bus. We build the finest public transportation in the world. If you've ever seen A Streetcar Named Desire with Marlon Brando and Vivian Lee, you've seen a Thomas product. Uh, the Streetcar Named Desire was a Thomas Streetcar. We started out building streetcars in 1916. We continued to build streetcars until the Great Depression hit. Uh, after the Great Depression hit, streetcars were no longer being purchased. So in 1936, we became a school bus manufacturer. In 1998, we were acquired by Daimler AG. Daimler AG is the parent company of Mercedes-Benz. Daimler is the world's largest manufacturer of commercial vehicles. That allows us to tap into some resources that no other school bus manufacturer can tap into. When you think about uh, Thomas Built Buses in High Point, we really have two campuses. We have a North Campus and we have a South Campus. The North Campus is where all the history took place. It encompasses about three quarters of a mile from one end of the building to the other, uh, where we're actually fabricating parts that we use on all of our product lines, as well as manufacturing the Minotaur, the EFX, and the HDX. If you get in a car and you go approximately two and a half miles, that's where we're actually building the Safety Liner C2 product. That is the new plan. It was an excess of a $100 million investment to build a brand new product, the first integrated school bus that had ever been introduced to the market with a chassis and a body specifically designed for each other uh, to provide significant features and benefits that no other company could. Uh, without the resources of Daimler, uh, we would never have been able to do that. We're just now starting into our second uh, century, uh, and we're very, very excited about where the company's going. You start with a truck that rolls into our yeah. has a coil. You unwind the coil. We start punching and pressing. And then it. we ship it to the assembly we line. We put it on there. We make it and install it right behind us. We can't repeat this. You, you, you cannot pick up a bus manufacturing plant and move it and drop it anywhere and have it repeatable. We have all of this technology to build a wonderful bus. Blue robots, we have welding robots, paint robots, a lot of automation. We use structural adhesives, we use self-piercing rivets. Reinforced eyelasters, extreme structure. We build it to be very strong, very robust, with lots of structure to help protect all the children inside and anyone riding inside. We transport a pretty precious cargo. So safety has to be our number one priority. It is the foundation of everything that our company does. We want to ensure that even in the standard vehicles, no matter if you have the highest options or not, the bus is safe. Your children are secure. These guys that build our product know exactly what they've been doing. They've been doing it for a long time. They've got great equipment, great backing. You would drive this business into the ground if you picked it up and moved it from high point. You know, here at Thomas, we're all like a big puzzle, but every puzzle, different size, different piece, everybody's important, and every piece of puzzle is just as important as the next piece. Standardized process and a sustainable process allows us to build the best school bus every day, every time. And even though we're building many buses during the day, when a bus rolls in my station, 
we treat that bus like no other bus we're gonna build. What they do, the screws they run, the wells they put on, the glue they apply, is part of the structure, the integrity of the bus that hauls the children of the, of the world. To be able to make something from raw metal from the earth and see it roll out the line behind us, that's really cool. Uh, we're very proud of what we do, but it's the people that make all the difference here. They know what they're doing. They're building school buses that transport children to and from school every day. And they're passionate about building safe buses, about building reliable buses, and about building durable buses. They really care about what they do. No, I don't. I love what I do. I love my job. I take pride in my work. I take pride in my work. I take my heart and put it in my work. We have people that have worked here for 40 years. We have such high seniority here, and I have to feel that that is because people are so satisfied with what they do. It all started with my dad. He's been here ever since I was little. This is all I've known is Thomas Bill. And then my mom works right beside me. So it's like a big old happy family. I, I love making something with a bunch of people actually leading them that's really important to the world. And a safe product to get our, our kids to school every day, I can't think of anything that's more important than that. The first thing that comes to my mind when I see a Thomas Built bus is that it's distinctive. It's gorgeous, especially the C2. The C2 is a beautiful bus that no other bus looks like it. You can see it immediately. You know what it is as soon as you see it. And then there's an awesome sense of pride that that's, that's my bus. We built that bus. <laughs> and I get behind the Thomas bus, and I've had whatever kind of day it is, and I look in that back glass and I see little people looking out the back waving, then yeah, that's why I do what I do. That's why we're all here. School districts are very, very uh, pressured from a financial perspective. So they're gonna want a product that's going to last 15 or 20 years. So everything we do from a design standpoint, we target durability, a product that's going to give them good service over the entire life cycle of the vehicle. So whether you're getting a Minotaur, or whether you're getting a Safety Liner C2, an EFX or an HDX. We're doing our best to make sure that those children are safe, uh, that the construction techniques uh, and features that we use uh, are encircling those children in the cage of steel. That guy hanging behind us, it's built to last. It's a safe bus. Kids deserve that. They deserve your best. We absolutely make the very best yellow school bus in the world, period.